What if the moon were only half as far away? It looks gorgeous, and it gets wild. First, tides. Tidal force scales with distance cubed, so at half the distance the pull is about eight times stronger. Expect frequent coastal flooding on spring tides and much stronger tidal currents. Ports, wetlands, even some cities would need walls or relocation. Second, night brightness. The moon would appear twice as wide and about four times brighter, roughly 1.5 magnitudes brighter. Great for night hikes, not so great for wildlife that relies on darkness. Third, the calendar. Kepler's law says the orbital period shrinks to about one-third. Our 29.5-day synodic month drops to roughly 10 days. Quicker phases, spring tides every five days. Fourth, eclipses. A bigger apparent moon means more frequent, longer total solar eclipses with wider paths. Lunar eclipses happen more often too, which might be amazing news to enthusiasts of this phenomenon. Fifth, Earth itself. Stronger tidal friction would slow Earth's rotation faster over time. Day length creeps longer. Local tidal loading could nudge quake timing in some coastal zones, but it's not a volcano apocalypse. Reality check. This won't happen. The moon is actually drifting away 3.8 centimeters per year. Bottom line, beautiful skies, bright nights, epic eclipses, and serious coastal impacts. Comment closer your city, and I'll reply with a quick skyline mock-up and your tide risk snapshot.